feeling right now? A little, a little nervous, but very confident. Wow, little nervous, but more confident. Ayan. I like that. Now, this is your picture. Your 15 seconds to prepare starts now. Your preparation time is up, and your two minutes speaking time starts now. The picture shows all about, well, what looks like children raising their hands or pointing their fingers, what looks like a math question on the board. This means that they're probably doing a class. But before we go on to that, I'd like to introduce myself. Hi, I'm gone and I'm going to do impromptu speaking today. Continuing on about the picture, you probably know about face-to-face -face classes. About two years ago, and after a few weeks back, and there hasn't been fa any face-to-face -face co classes because of, well, the pandemic. But now because of the COVID-19 vaccines, there's been, well, now face-to-face. -face. But remember what life was like, I mean, school was like back in, well, 2020, let's say 2020, when COVID-19 is now rampant. There have been people doing online classes. While this might be the solution, there was a problem to this. You probably know a problem. One of the problems, people could cheat easily on exams. I know, I bet one of you people actually cheated, right? <laughs> okay, maybe not, but still. Until you learn about this, besides of the cheating, people have been using online, that some people almost forgot about the real life situation of the school. Now, like I said, because of vaccines, people have done face to face and now those troublemakers are finally, finally caught because now there are real exams where teachers can finally get them. Now let's go back. Face to face is, well, now here, especially it's 2022, COVID-19 is, uh, people won't vaccinate. But we still have to learn how to follow protocols. Now I would like to end with a question. Do you, which do you think is better? online classes or face-to-face -face classes. That'll be it. <laughs>